everyone i'm really excited to be back with dolls gone goth and today we are doing black flowers so i have got my girl here she hasn't got a name yet i will think of one for her but i just haven't haven't got one yet it'll come to me so this is my girl who i've dressed up for dolls gone goth and who i'm going to use in future for dolls gone goth she has long black hair which i have plaited at the back i've given her some beads in black and silver and there's a white one on the bottom there she's got a lace heart on the back of her head and a little hat i made of it's lining material that feels like satin it's like a it's not satin it's lining material and i didn't do any edging on here what i did was i melted it with um a lighter yeah you don't have to edge this sort of material you can like i say you can melt it with a lighter you have to do it very carefully and it's a good idea to have a bowl of water nearby in case you set something on fire she says from experience <laughs> Yeah, do, do be careful. So none of this outfit that she's got on has been edged with anything apart from, like I say, a lighter. I did the edge on her top with lighter and then I just stitched some thread through the peaks of it to tie around her neck. Um, this is her, these are meant to look like the little leaves at the bottom of a flower. And then her skirt was edged with a lighter too. And you can see I made petals and I joined them together to make it look like a flower. She's got little black shoes on too. What else can I tell you about her? Oh, she's got little black flower earrings on. You can see that. Yeah, with a little diamante in the middle. And then she's got a little black butterfly on her cheek there. That's one of those removable. Actually, I think it's a nail sticker. And then on her, the top of her arm there, she's got a little bird in black. And then she has got a little, actually, I'm going to take this off, this little thing of flowers, because look what it's done to her hand. All the silver's come off this. It's some, some tissue paper, silver tissue paper. And it's all over my fingers, look, and it's rubbed off on her hand, so I'll have to give her a clean in a minute. But yeah, I made her a little bouquet of black roses, as she is a little black rose herself. So Dolls Gone Goth is a collaboration that me and Marna do every month. We, um, we choose a theme, we make a doll, and we do a video to remind you of what the theme is and then we do want to show you our finished dolls and we invite you all to join in you can join in and do do a doll too it doesn't have to be a Blythe doll it can be any doll oh she's got she's got her eye her eyelids painted in glitter as well but it's like dark blue and purple yeah and I did give her some new eyes she's got pink eyes there and I do intend to do her lips as well. They'll be done hopefully for next month's Dolls Gone Goth. So do go over and see Marna's video. I'm so excited to see Marna's video today. And don't forget to go and see everyone else's videos too who have done Dolls Gone Goth. The hashtag for this month is hashtag Dolls Gone Goth Black Flowers. You don't have to have done it today. It can be for any day. We've just done it for the six. We just... We're going to do it for the 16th every month, but you can do it, you know, you don't have to have it on actually on the 16th. It doesn't matter yet. So if you do make a video of a, any doll with a theme of black flowers, please let me know in the comments or use the hashtag dolls gone goth black flowers. Yeah. And don't forget to pop over and see Marna's video too. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that. Thank you for watching. Bye for now.